Hey there, everybody. My name is Kevin. Welcome back for another video of Civ 6. We're going to continue this series. This is our second video of it. We went pretty far in the first video with 13, uh, turn to 16, right? Uh, went pretty far with the uh, the research. Obviously, I've got the mods equipped on that make it so that I've got uh, research and civics every turn and new technology, right? It's one per turn. I'm doing fantastic because of it. And uh, that's really gonna help us out in the long run. Well, in the long run, I should say we're pretty much OP right now. We don't. It's not like we really needed anything, but uh, so I mean, it's still good to have that uh, advance. I guess of uh, advanced shipbuilding. So now we can have uh, ships, right? I think we had the thing where we can have to, we can go to ship tiles and stuff like that, or ocean tiles. We can have a new government type, but I am going to keep... I'm not going to go for monarchy. I think uh, Merchant Republic would be the best option. Uh, next up, government. We do have some new stuff here and there, but nothing too interesting. So we can uh, keep it the way it is. Uh, I am going to spawn a unit, maybe. Should I spawn a unit? Uh, no. Oh, uh, this, uh, this is an archer, yeah. So maybe I should just spawn a unit uh, somewhere. That is like a scout and stuff like that. Now I do have skirmishers, right? So I have the right to to go for the skirmishers. Yeah, I have a skirmisher now, so that's what I, I can go for. So if I have skirmisher, I can just go ahead and I need one at least skirmisher to go to the north. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the north. Uh, let me see real quick. Um, I can't really purchase anything, so yeah, I'm gonna go for a skirmisher. I'm gonna quickly per I'm gonna build a per uh, skirmisher. Let me see really quick uh, if I if he can find him that uh, that is at least because we do have to find him. Where is he at? Skirmisher can't find him, boys. Holy shit! All right, boys. So I found uh, where the skirmisher was. I uh, purchased him or well built him. So we've got him for free. Obviously, these units, I'm going to have to him for free as well. We've got another mod like that that I can use for that. I think I can settle like nearby here. I could definitely settle around La Venta and have a city up north and, uh, well, west, uh, northwest and, I guess, east to La Venta. I don't know if I want to invade La Venta. I'm probably going to do it eventually. I mean, it has to happen. I mean, they're so close to me. Discovery of banking. There we go. So we've got banking, advanced shipbuilding, all that guild as well. A lot of stuff, boys. So we can't really do anything with these. Uh, yeah, my builder needs to sleep because I really can't do anything with him right now. My skirmisher. Yeah, we still have no civilization. I think nor I think America might be the type of uh, the, the the land itself, like the the uh how's it called oh my god i'm stupid the continent itself there we go the continent continent itself should be available for all of us right my entire country should be able to, to just have it we're gonna have pikemen we're gonna build on that military tradition we have a, another government tile he's gonna be maxed out there we go he's definitely maxed out now so there's nothing better than this right now Le population Six more turns before population of five, right? For my, for this uh, uh, city, I guess. So I am going to work on another settler soon enough. I think what I'm going to do, boys, is I'm going to already send my builder right here. I'm going to send him towards here because I know I'm going to settle another city, right? I'm going to have another city right here. So uh, that's what I'm going to start to doing is I'm going to start building a bunch of, uh, of stuff, right? Having a lot of cities everywhere. And uh, that's what we need to do. We need to really finish building that audience chamber, though. It's taking forever to get it done. It's taking five turns, really. And uh, I really want to make it done fast. So there we go. So we say here, close order formation. So we've got spearmen. Then we've got military training. We're going to send my skirmisher right here. So good news, there's nobody in the uh, vicinity that can really challenge our ruling over here. Uh, I I would be tempted to just build a ship. I really I think a settler would be really great uh, right here. But um, like I said, I need to, to wait until this is population of four at least, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be 
it wouldn't be fair to uh, to go for a hit unless I feel like okay so this is the max it's gonna go for yeah I feel like we, we should be fine here you know no I'm gonna go for the settler why not there we go we're gonna build a settler right here there we go or purchase one and we're gonna go ahead and say so for the settler I, I don't f I don't know where I'm gonna put it. It says there's no right area to put him right here. There's no green zone uh, per se. It could be a great uh, great place right here, right? But it's not within six tiles really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's in there, but I'm not sure, boys. I think it could be a great area. Right here would be a good area. Then again, here as well would be a good area to, to go for. Uh, I want to be a little bit closer, I feel like. So maybe if I just... I, I think I should settle here. I should settle um, right here. That uh, would be better for us. So iron working. We got a swordsman. Choose a civic. We got naval tradition. That's that. Envoy. We can send more envoys to them. And I think uh, we're good right now. Yeah, we're a lot uh a lot good right now we're doing fantastic so there it is boys okay so we got nothing right now that i can build really there is improved tiles and stuff like that but nothing that concerns me really uh, truly so just continue Maybe iron working is done large, and uh distributed weapons naval tradition as well now iron working means that i can have swordsmen uh, so it's an upgrade to the warrior unit, but the thing is I can't have it right now. Do I have iron? I do have I do actually build iron per turn, but only two per turn. I don't have enough right now It's gonna take uh, 13 iron in total. So just need to wait a bit before upgrading it I'm gonna wait before sending my trader to uh, someplace else I guess Because we don't have it doesn't look like we can go to Russian tiles again uh, yet that's interesting. I am going to settle right here. Here's our second city, boys. Almonton Smoke Little, right? Uh, nearby a volcano. This one, this time around, I am going to send it... Uh, there we go, to the city. Uh, I'm going to see, is there anyone nearby us? There is barbarians uh, in there on the north. Okay, so this city right here is near a volcano. I didn't want to do it for this one because it had two volcanoes. I mean... This is a volcano area. If there's going to be a disaster happening, it's going to be around this area, boys. We're not in the, exactly in the right areas for this, but that's okay. I am going to send him just so we can build uh, the walls on her. I'm going to do that because that's going to give us industrial zone. And this, uh, let's do this one. There we go. Choose production. Time for us to choose uh, our first production over this city. Now, this city is going to need a lot of working to do. I wonder, I just equipped another mod, which is fast construction. Does that mean uh, it builds stuff fast? I wonder if that's the case, right? If that's the case, uh, maybe I can just uh, quickly build these. Uh, let me see real quick. If I just build a granary, maybe it's going to take one turn. We're going to see in the next turn if that actually works. If that works... That would be really good for that, actually, to just build quickly these things as well. That would be really cool. Like, just fast construction, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so I think we're good here. Just need to skip to the next turn. I, I do need to... Uh, I do want to see right here, though, the bonuses that they could give us. Nothing, really. All right, let's continue. The main thing we need is a lot more gold right now. We need gold, so we need to start... Having commercial labs over these two areas. Our expression of reformed church will define humanity's future in the Renaissance era. Trade there we go. Apprenticeship, boys. And reformed church. There we go. So we got reformed church. I'm actually going to attack him. It's going to do a lot of damage because it's skirmisher versus a scout. Uh, I need more housing over here. We're, yeah, we, we're in need of a lot of like housing and stuff like that. Rest assured, uh, my builder is coming up. He's coming to there. And also my uh, wonder, right? My great engineer is uh, on its way as well. So it says fast construction. I don't know exactly what that means then. Oh, does that mean for the builder? So fast construction really doesn't make any sense per se. So I'm going to unequip that. 
I'm actually going to equip instead fast production. Maybe that's the one. Maybe that's the one. Fast production, boys. We'll see if that's the one. Uh, let's do university. And choose civic medieval fairies. Why not? Let's do this one. New government type. I don't want theocracy. I want merchant republic, boys. That's the one I want. Then again, theocracy. No, no, no. I, I want merchant republic. It gives us more gold and stuff like that. It's definitely going to be better if I do that. Uh, I think we should be good. There's got to be a way for me that I can like limit myself from just per like doing that shit and uh, doing it too often. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I can only, yeah, I can only get one of each every time. So, right. I, I already got my skirmisher by that. I already got my builders. I got to wait for my builder to get complete. So I can probably quickly purchase like a trader still. But the settler, well, the settler already did it. Okay, so I think we're good. I think I understand what I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to do myself right here. All right, medieval fairies integration is done. Obviously, we're already at turn 22. It's crazy. We're uh, really moving fast, boys. We have actually a governor that we can equip now. Okay. Which one do we need? Or do we want? I think we would want... Uh, which one is the, the one with the money and stuff like that? It's the, this one. So we're going to send this one. It's like a merchant and stuff like that. It's going to give us a lot, right? A lot of stuff. Okay, so fast production doesn't really work. What does fast production even give us? Nothing. This seems to be like fast production... Or fast construction really do much. All right, so I, I guess I'll equip fast construction as well because I'm not exactly sure what any of these means, right? So fast production, I'm not sure what that means. Any of this means. So I'll just wait it out. I'm going to go ahead and send this guy over here. He's going to have to work on the mines and uh, this uh, resource right here. And also on the farm right here, right? We need We do need farms. That's one thing that's for sure. This there we go. We got past that. Got some money bearing crater. So we got uh, like a, a natural wonder. Uh, the, he does have an update. So that's uh, an upgrade. That's really good. You are going to continue to go on your way for the city. You research. We're going to go for this one. Niter. We, uh, we do need Niter. And I, I guess we could go for diplomatic service. That would be uh, really helpful right here. Next stop. Not gaining a lot of gold, only uh, five gold per turn. I think we're good. We're almost there for the iron. We need 13, as you said. We're actually gaining, uh, no, we are still gaining 30, like uh, two uh, iron per turn, but still pretty good. They do have two uh, archers, but they would still need like a lot more than that to defeat us. And we've got walls and everything. So we're way more advantaged than, we're way more advantaged than they ever will be. Diplomatic service, bureaucracy, and the other thing that we've uncovered, right? They're all done. All done. How many turns? Two turns, uh, two builds left. I think recommend. Yeah, it would give us more food and housing and stuff like that. I definitely recommend having that. Uh, I think we should do it. We should do it because we do need a farm over here. We absolutely need a farm. Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise. A glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Here we go, boys. Yosemite Valley. We've uncovered another a natural wonder uh, in the area. I did forget about uh, upgrading my unit right there. That's okay. We, what else do we have? We do have him. There we go. We got walls over here, boys. So there's the, there it is. We got the walls. Or, uh, over uh, Oxmall as well. We built that. I think we're good. Let's take a look. Uh, I think I'm going to go for cartography to have better ships and humanism. I do. I am tempted to go for ships here. Maybe a ship just to defend my borders. My right. Have an actual a navy would be uh, really nice. I, we are done with our last thing right here. So what I think uh, we should do. We should work on one of these things. I, I'm not sure which one I want to work on first. Maybe an arbor would be really good because this is what we need to build ships and stuff like that, like proper ships. And it gives us money as well. 
Uh, I think I want to go, not observatory, industrial zone will be really good as well. I might need to go for industrial zone right here, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. Let's, uh, let's go for that. Let's go for the industrial zone. We're really going to need it as fast as possible right here. We uh, don't have anything else. Nope, not not really. So we're still building on our all of our stuff. Uh, ten, 10 turns for the granary to get done. Are you serious? Holy shit, that takes a while, boys. Takes a while for the granary to get done. Good lord. We do have another government point as well, though. So we can promote her. More uh, plus two gold. There we go. And uh, what is that? We no, okay, no. The the, uh, the other point that was giving us doesn't uh, matter anymore. So that's that, at least. I think we're good. Plus trade re routes. Okay, so trade routes to an ally city provides plus two food and production for both city. Hold on. I need that. That's much better than the invoice. Much better, boys. So we already are going to have a boost from that. Uh, big time. Mega colossal, colossal eruption. That's the one near my newest city. That's not good. Uh, we're going to just, I guess, make him sleep right here. I cannot. I f yeah, I didn't quickly purchase him, right? I didn't. I actually, uh, I, I purchased him. So I, I didn't build him. So I can actually create another one like this. And just send him over here. There we go to the walls. He's going to sleep. There we go. I have. I can do that. You are just going to go there. You are going to continue on your way there. There we go. We're getting some money from these. Res uh, from looking at everything. We got that. So Mega Colossal Eruption. Which is. Oh it's this one. We actually have two volcan volcanoes. That's four volcanoes in the area. Good lord. I mean, it's good for these tiles because they get fertile. It's more mines and uh, like more production and stuff like that eventually. But right now, when it actually erupts, that's bad for the city. So that's very dangerous. Hopefully the city is going to be fine. It does have walls, so we should be fine. We can actually build right now one of these, like get it done per, uh, really quick. I'm thinking about uh, getting uh, the granary done so we can focus on something else really. Yeah, I'm thinking about, uh, we should probably, we should definitely focus on this, uh, on Arbor, no, on Monument. We need to focus on all these, so, there we go, we're good. I think we're good, we don't have anything else going on, so, let's just, uh, skip forward again, boys. Another mega colossal, uh, colossal, I should say, eruption, I can't speak. We got, uh, mercenaries and mass production. Uh, I'm going to build that. More food, more gold, boys. That's what I'm talking about right there. More food, more gold. And uh, that's actually 6 production now because of that. 11 production, so not too bad. Not too bad. We got that. Uh, this, all these are, are going to erupt. And when this one erupts, boys, it's going to be bad. Oh, it's going to explode into my face and everything. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. Choose a research. I guess we're going to go for the frigates. And we are going to upgrade you. There we go. Just like that. Choose a new civic. Merchant Republic, please. There we go. Continue to send my envoys to this man right here. Uh, there we go. Plus two of civil uh, population. We should be good. Where do we have to go? We are not there. Next turn, we're going to be able to upgrade my unit right here into a swordsman. We uh, are frigate wise, like ship wise, we're really doing good actually. So I'm thinking we can start like uh, going after ships, but we are gonna have frigates, and frigates is uh, melee strength, range strength. I'm gonna wait for the next turn for the frigates to be done so I can build them instead of just building a random ship right now. All right, so we got that. I'm actually gonna kill these, uh, try to kill these units with my skirmisher. Why not? It's giving him, it's gonna give him some uh, some stuff as well. Printing. We're going to do that. Choose Civic. I guess, I guess Mercantilism is going to go for that. Uh, let's go for Merchant Republic. There we go. We're moving on to a new type of Empire. Alright. So Merchant Republic Rocks now. Plus three era scores. I keep them all. With them, I shall build my castle. We can now have medieval walls. Which is really good. So that's that. I'm actually going to do this one right here. 
So that means it gives us more space for other stuff. Uh, I don't know what exactly we want to go for. Strength for non-religious units fights a civilization that follows another religion. It could be good, but I don't think I want to go for any of these. Any of these are not really that important, to be honest, boys. I think I should probably go for... 15% growth and 3 loyalty per turn for cities not on your original capital's continent. Uh, that's not really going to help. Extra faith from buildings on in holy sites. Not really. All religious units. Plus 2 housing. I'm going to do this one. Plus 2 housing, boys. Uh, next, uh, next thing. Envoy plus 2 influence points. Not really. Gold from each invoice. Governor provide plus 2 loyalty per turn. Uh, governor plus uh, provide plus two loyalty. There we go. Loyalty is really important, boys. So I'll just do this one. All right. So we got that. Uh, now that we can, now that we can actually do this, right? We can have uh, medieval walls on and stuff like that. A castle is done. So we could probably work. Yeah, just work on printing. I guess. There we go. That's the next thing. Can I just go here and build a wall? Must be in a city without medieval walls building. Do I not if you have medieval walls yet? Hold on. Oh, I'm not sure how this works, boys. I'm not sure if I follow properly what's going on here. Okay, no, we don't have medieval walls just yet that we can build. Okay. Never mind, never mind. I think I, I was pretty lost on that one. We are going to upgrade this guy. Can we? Oh, we don't have enough gold. And now we need gold. So we need to wait and have gold. Jeez. We gotta wait so long, boys. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, build our frigates. I do want to see what's the best option right here. Oh, we can uh, build those things right here, though. That would be great, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. Let's uh, let's just see really quick right there. Uh, caraval. So we got some caraval. We got some frigates. That would give us. We need knighters for cra frigates. Caravals do our only melee. Caradrium can do range. I think definitely frigates is the big one. Uh, so I'm going to go for frigates here. I'm going to build a frigate. Just one frigate. I can only build one anyways. So let's uh, let's see what we can build here. Caraval frigate. Let's just build a frigate right here, boys. Boom. Onto the waves. And we've got the frigate right here, which we are going to start sending. We can go into ocean tiles now. So we can. Uh, we're going to start sending him... All over the areas just to scout a little bit right in front of us. Uh, what what does it have, right? What type of land, free land do we, can we have? All right, mercantilism and printing are both done. So we're going to continue to send our ship right here. Scout the areas. There we go. You are just going to continue to, well, don't continue to attack because there's no point in it. You're not going to beat them. They're going to just spawn units at the Wazoo all the time. Now, I uh, cannot build, like, walls in medieval walls. I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. I, I don't know why. But, uh, whatever. Do we not have... Oh, we don't have a builder. That's right. I should probably, like, uh, have another builder done uh, right now. That's probably what I should do, boys. We're gonna go uh, work on the knights. Civics. Go on the Statue of Liberty, uh, uh, Liberty. Choose a policy. A new policy, I guess. Plus four gold and faith per turn. There we go. That's much better. That's an upgrade from the last one, I guess. Plus, uh, it's going to be population three in the next uh, uh, turn. And population six for our capital. Actually, need a religion soon enough. Uh, but we need a holy site to do that. That's going to... Uh, once we have the holy site, we can use this great profit and give us an instant religion. Just like that, right? So... Next things, we don't really have anything really. Aside from, hopefully, I just hope that this one doesn't become active like these. Uh, because this one is starting to really take a toll on Laventa and stuff like that. It's even destroying the city. Uh, slowly. So, I just hope it's not going to happen to us. This, my city here, here is safe. But not so safe over here. This one is not so safe. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's... Get working on a builder right here. We do need a, a builder. That's uh, definitely one thing that we need. So working, I get working on one oh, right here. There we go. So you're going to build the mine. 
get more get us more production there we go so just so you do a bit of stuff faster Mitil, uh working civil engineering is done boys now i obviously i need to upgrade my unit right here into a swordsman so we got the swordsman done that's done my my units are so op compared to everyone else just because of the technology and stuff i cannot build anything uh really because i i literally don't have anything uh i am gonna do double adjacency bonuses for commercial ops i don't have any commercial ops right now so just plus two gold per turn for each citizen that already is going to give us a lot more uh bonuses we are done with that one so i guess we need to go for a new military thing uh all improved nitre and coal resources additional i'm going to do this one this one looks like a good one and uh i think uh, that's pretty much it okay choose a new research i guess both are going to give us something i'm just going to go for this one i guess and you are going to go for colonialism uh i'm going to move you actually yeah let's move you up right there i'm going to scout a little bit as much as possible the coast of america uh first we need to build some stuff here but i don't have anything to build so I'm just gonna have to make you wait really unless we can build some stuff here not really there's nothing we can build here that could help the city uh, grow even further so there's some stuff around this area right here but uh i'm just gonna uh, send him here and make him sleep for now you are gonna, just gonna go there 20 gold per turn now all right we're starting to grow a little bit further boys that's what i'm talking about right here and in faith wise i mean you can get soothsayers this has to begin a random disaster and the x is near this uh, unit doing so destroy the soothsayer it has no more charges Aside from doing apocalyptic things, what does it really do, right? Not entirely sure. It's like, it's basically like a military unit when you think about it. Because what it does is, instead of just sending your regular army, or even though I've got really big time armies and stuff like that, instead of uh, like sending my catapults per se, or sending like my swordsmen or anybody or an archer you can actually just send a soothsayer you can just do a cataclysm like that just be godlike like it's literally a godlike thing oh we did unlock the the towel right there which is really good for us that's gonna be perfect let's go there boys continue here so we did have some flooding and it was right here so there's some flooding here it doesn't concern us it's pretty far away from our own things you can have some siege towers and pikemen and stuff like that there we go. Send an envoy, so even more envoys to Laventa. Nobody's gonna ever gonna, gonna take them for uh, away from us, that's for sure. There we go. Man, there's literally nobody living in America, right? Okay, that's perfect for us. I mean, we can settle all the way here. That's just fine by me. So we got all of that. Do we have a new policy that we can add? Come back victories. Gold equal to 50%. Okay. Plus... Oh, hold on what is this plus 25 percent gold and plus 10 percent production in cities not on the original capitals continent that would actually be really great boys but i'm not sure if we really need that though because we already have the housing i think though i feel like the housing is a lot better a lot more important overall right i don't know it maybe that's just me i am gonna skip one more turn after we're gonna call it a quits for today there's that boys um we don't have anything we can sleep him because we don't have anything for him really the grand mesa so we have uncovered another world wonder or natural wonder choose a research let's go for the canals choose a civic we can go for i guess archaeologists or yeah just archaeologists and uh you can still i can promote you so i'm just going to promote you i guess uh, you are just going to continue to go on your way here. We got a lot of nighters, some maize here. So a lot of interesting resources in the area right here. Uh, we still don't have anything, right? Nothing here that is really that interesting that we could probably search. We need money. We just have to save our money to build tiles so we can send our builders and stuff like that right in the uh, areas. 
just so they can do uh, better they can work the tiles and stuff like that because right now they can't work the tiles and that's the problem uh, aside from that everything's good industrial zone all of this we're doing perfect we're doing fantastic we still haven't uncovered any other civilizations we are 10 civilizations in total in the whole world it's a big it's a pretty big map so that means with only 10 civilization, maybe that's why we are not going to uncover any people. I, what are the chances that there's, of all the 10 civilizations, I'm the only one that's in America? That would be crazy. That would absolutely be crazy. But it's not actually the case. I know Green Columbia is going to be on the south for sure. So we, I know we got a neighbor on the south, but we haven't uncovered him yet. Probably, but there's a big chance that all our other neighbors are on... The other continents that we don't, the other world, right? Our new world, we don't know anything about. So, one turn for the monument, one turn for population four for Oxmall. And, uh, well, for you, you're doing uh, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Once you're done with uh, the industrial zone, it's going to help out a little bit. It is going to give us maybe a little bit more, like, um, production. So, that's definitely going to help us out. Uh, it does already have plus 14, so I don't know, boys. It's at plus 14, it's struggling to build some stuff like that. That's going to be rough, but whatever. Rem uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.